June 7, 2009. Approaching the Binder Library at American University in Washington, D.C. Let's see what the library has in store for us these days. Stores here. Oh, the lobby, information desk. It's quiet. Not open yet. Through those doors, there's administration. Let's go into the first floor. It's rare that you see doors closed here. Borrowing. Some people call it the circulation desk. Oh my goodness. Where are all the books? Where are all the computers? What's going on? There's a floor plan. I think that means that what we see on the floor plan here will be what's coming here later this summer. And there's a sign. This area is temporarily closed for renovation. Computers are available on the lower level in the mud box and on the second floor. We apologize for any inconvenience. What that means is we're sorry, but the price of progress means we can't do normal operating procedure. Reference librarians. The research, teaching, and learning group is behind those doors. Map cases are gone. This room is going to be a training classroom and breakout session room. It's amazing. You never fully appreciate how much space exists in the library until all the shelves are gone. There's the new SIS building through the windows. <clears throat> May 2010, a year from now, that'll be ready. It's incredible. So we're walking through what used to be computers and research tables, and then we find shelves. All the reference materials that we haven't yet uh, put in storage. The new location of the reference shelves. There'll be a wide open vista of workstations, collaborative group study sessions, lounge furniture, trying to make this the nicest place we can with what we have. July 2009, University Library in the midst of change.